But what did she get to keep saying that it's recording in action? I understand that she's recording in action, but she couldn't keep saying that. Well, do you some, see the talking about that was recorded? Like, did you see anything? I feel some type of way that they, this this is happening. I like when people didn't know that we were recording. It made me feel better about myself. Did you? So now you feel self-conscious now that you've got a robot voice telling you that this meeting is being recorded? Yeah, I didn't want that. That sounds like a personal issue. Did you want to talk about it? Yeah, I do. Zoom, get, get your shit together. Nobody really cares if they're being recorded or not. In a world where geeking out never looked so good, two incredibly sexy men will rise for your auditory pleasure. Keeping up with the Geek Bros. So what's going on? It's episode uh, 86 before I left in hiatus of Keeping Up with the Geek Bros. Did you say 86? <laughs> Was it 86 or too 50 soon, when I left? Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Never too soon. Too Never soon. too soon. Are you, are you, that's how you, is that how you open this episode? Hey, what's going on, guys? Do, do your yeah. thing. It's original recipe. Start over. I, take two. I, I am I am drinking my Serafina first to get out to get my little music going. What's going on, people? What's going on? It's me, Pancho. And vibe. vibe. So what's going on? Talk to me. Episode three of our original recipe. Episode fifty-five. Random thing. Like we do these randomly. So don't 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 expect it. <laughs> Just when it happens, be grateful and go from there. Uh yeah. So episode three of the original recipe see it rhymes Juancho, what are we talking about today you well the first me? thing i'm, look, I'm look, looking at the background you're looking like you're, you're thinking or debating of which hamburger you want to buy off a mcdonald's menu nope look at, look Five at that guys thing. look at that look at that you're literally looking like mm, do you want a uh Popeye's chicken sandwich, or am I gonna go with Chick Fil A chicken sandwich? I've never I had I? Popeye's or Chick Fil A chicken sandwiches. I, I did. Know. I have both of them. Actually, which, okay, Popeyes? which one is good? I like Popeye's. Why? What is so good about Popeye's chicken sandwich? I want to hear this right now. I have no idea. It was actually really good. I actually, it was really good. You're probably hungrier that day than you were when you went to Chick Fil A. Oh yeah, pretty much. Chick Fil A okay. for me is like oh, a, right. It's Jesus chicken. It's delicious. You so what are we eat. talking about today? We're talking about Supercon. That's it? No, we have right. more. Okay, can we'll we, keep going. Can we, can we just go one at a time? Like, I mean, you can be rushing talent I, here. I, right? I'd love, I know I'd love to know this so the people who are listening know what we're talking well, about. No, and... but I'm going to ask you questions. So you calm your titties down, okay? You calm them down. <laughs> okay, let's ask me questions. Topic. This is not an interview. This is a podcast. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about how Supercon. So, um, Vibe, if you want to do the honor, sir, since uh, you're head honcho. Please go ahead. Tell us. Tell the audience what they want to know. What, they're not gonna know. They're not gonna listen to this ep, this 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 original recipe on YouTube. So we already know that they're gonna have to listen to the original one, episode one fifty, whatever, to actually find out the official news. Listen, there are, are a solid twelve people that watch this on YouTube, <laughs> and those twelve people, we appreciate you. <laughs> now, the twelve, ten of them are, are, are Man Man's friends. So since Man Man, what we were posting this, two people will be watching this. But um, well, I like to say, I guess, I mean, I have very little uh, thing, but uh, we are officially on the media list for Supercon, uh, courtesy of Juancho and his dynamic. I don't know what he does to get his, to get us in these cons because I've never done it. I don't contact anybody. I don't reach out to anybody. And I only took over for, for Chicago because I had no choice, but I didn't start it. I just ended it. So yeah. tell us the story. How did you get us a media passes for Supercon just, to I cover just, Supercon as a brand. Yeah, I um just did that usual. Just used to did you just send my contact information, some info, and boom, I got an email today, which I was supposed to take 30 days. Nope, the same day we are accepted. I just now gotta contact them and get more in detail as to like how many badges and all that stuff, and 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 then we'll talk logistics of which team cast members you're gonna be seeing there on a, on a, on the three days, which ones you won't. Um, because I don't know how many they are giving. They only sent one barcode, so I'm kind right. of like, uh, uh, okay. But they said that there might be multiple, so I have to find out exactly what's what, what's going on. Yeah, two, three at the minimum, because yeah, I, I need I need so, you know I need more than just me. We, 
we may we may rotate uh, we don't know we, we we have to go so we are planning this is for september um we still things are still in the air and right. yeah. but yeah so we are going to be going to the miami beach uh convention center september 10th to the 12th for florida supercon right now the list is not heavy for celebrities if i'm not mistaken as i'm talking i'm actually looking at this i know my uh, wife earlier today was like looking into the the actors but so far they have Anaris Quinones, who plays uh, voices uh, My Hero Academia and uh, Attack on Titan. You have Clifford uh, Chapin, who's also in My Hero Academia and Attack on Titan. They have David Matranaga, Matranaga, uh, My Hero Academia and Attack on Titan, and Rico Fajardo. Same thing, except Rico that he. Suave, what? Rico Fajardo, yeah. I guess these are all voice actors for now. So those are the only they're ones. All, they're from My Hero Academia? Yeah. Okay. So so far, those are the ones that have been confirmed. You have also, you know, some different cosplayers. Um, no, it's actually no. The, oh, the, the, there's other more. Sorry, I, I apologize. There's going to be uh, Zach Aguilar from Demon Slayer and Genshi Impact. Um, Afus Afua Richardson, Black Panther, World of Wakanda, and Lovecraft Country. I'm in the corner. Uh, Afua Richardson. Is that the who's that? Is that is that um Mbaka? Oh, I forgot his name. I don't know. That's racist. Uh, Daryl. Oh, GMT Daniels. Wait, shh. was that a? Oh, I thought I heard a uh, ice cream truck in the background. No, that was a phone. That was a phone. Yeah, that was a phone. Oh, that sounded like an ice cream. On my truck. phone. No, no, Mr. Soft. But yeah, I'm like super. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see what we've got. Uh, thank you, Repop, for this opportunity again. I, I know we have worked uh with Repop before at uh. Uh, Star Wars Celebration 20, 2019, if I'm not mistaken. That's when I went on hiatus. I think 2019, 18. Oh, that was the same, that's the same people who who, who did... Uh, okay. That's why oh, they... Um, that's they, why they, they okayed us, because we were we were a big hit in Chicago. Yeah, so um, we so yeah, we got a good thing going on, so that's good. Hopefully that. Um, now we're going to talk, actually, you know, try to get the Jersey things going on, so I just got to start now during the time to see what we can do and uh, during my day six off so yeah so then the next thing is i'm um tomorrow's a big day uh for the audience tomorrow's a big day oh you, you that you, you're referring to your uh vasectomy right yes tomorrow's a vasectomy <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow's my last day that you'll see me on air before i go on a, on a sabbatical for three months uh we don't know how, where i'll be going but yeah no just kidding just kidding <laughs> <laughs> too soon too soon, way too soon, way too soon. <laughs> Especially now that we got the super card, I have to, I have to keep the tradition going. I have but, this yeah, right, right, whole, exactly, exactly. I have to Listen, disappear for a whole year. Here, we're, we're not. It, Juancho is nothing if not consistent. That's what we appreciate him. That's exactly. why he's here. I have, so. to, I have, I have to. I, I, I drop some good news and then I disappear for a whole year and then come exactly. back. Like, oh, exactly, exactly. Right, guys, what oh, did yeah. I miss? What like, did nothing I miss? Happened. Besides everything that I that I worked on and left. <laughs> <laughs> about this oh, we're gonna be going really good um, we're gonna get the, the um, jersey we're gonna go it's gonna be nice it's gonna be a good way to bring up uh, everybody back uh in person probably be the first in-person thing because i doubt we're that, gonna do anything in oh, I, I doubt too that. but i think that's a great but that's, that would be a perfect way to restart the in-person brand episodes you know is, is to cover a comic-con uh, my my, my uh, days of going, I don't know the days that I'll be going. I don't know yet because, you know, I still have a newborn and I have to also, you know, attend to that. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Well, we'll, you'll probably see my face. You're probably not. But for sure, the boys will be all there. So that's a good thing. That's a yes, wonderful yes. thing. We'll rotate it somehow and it, it'll work out. We have. I, wanna... I, I don't I don't want I don't you know abuse to get a whole six. I mean, if they can give us all six batches, that's great. But at the same time, I don't want to overdo it. Right. Um, I want to, you know, respect them for that because, you know, right. this. The, it's it a it's one of the one of the biggest uh uh conventions in florida you know you got florida supercon you have megacon in uh, orlando and orlando then you have tampa bay uh com uh supercon or megacon in, yep. in tampa so and you can you're not, not at comic-con it takes you you gotta you got believe it you gotta love it so this is awesome so yeah <laughs> all right so with that being said so what's going on vibe what's going on your mind today any any games you're playing lately Oh, well, I busted out the old PS3, and me and the offspring oh. are playing um, <laughs> Gundam, Dynasty Warriors Gundam okay. 3. So you have an uh, Xbox, but you don't play games within the Game Pass. Okay, but continue. No, 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 no. My offspring plays with the game is because I told you, I got myself a, 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 a gaming laptop, so I'm paying, playing all my PC They're games. Not bad. And They're I not love, bad. I absolutely love the um, Gundam SD Crossrays. 
It's it's a, a, ta- a Gundam Tactics game, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Before that, I was playing Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, absolutely obsessed with that. Before that, of course, I was playing Civilizations VI, which I played like forever. So I'm now into PC gaming, my PC gaming, and using Steam. So that's what killed. that you're single, you'll be able to play more video games. Oh, 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 oh. She was just something playing video games. But that's the thing, though, is that because I have the Dell gaming laptop, it completely took my focus away from, from the Xbox, and I'm playing my laptop. If I'm playing games, it's on my laptop. But but I'm finding the joys in, in uh, playing co-op with my oldest son again. So we're actually going to find a game for... Um, because the last game we played on Xbox was, what's that game called? What oh you, a Mine, Minecraft? Uh, no, 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 no. There's like four versions of it. It's about demons and stuff. I don't know which demon game you're talking oh, about. Man, that's a this lot side, of games in Steam. This thing. Duh. Dresden. I don't know. Anyway, but it was, but it was, um, uh, it was a two-player uh, co-op game, and we had a blast. But that was the very last game we played on Xbox because we didn't find anything else. But I'm waiting for my speaker phone, my speaker box. Man, man got his, and I'm pissed. Oh, you don't? You haven't? You haven't bought your speaker box? Yet? I can't find one. I there's a guy. I don't know if you do Twitter, but there's a Twitter uh, guy that is on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how I got my my Xbox. I actually found. You have him. the Xbox Series X. X. I have, I have I have the tower, the 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 real one or the or the speaker. No, I have the real one. I have the tower. How did you find one? So I follow Mister uh, Matt uh, Matt McCuff, Matt, Matt Swider M A T T S W I D E R. Uh huh. He, he gives you the up to date versions of where to buy the Xboxes, where they're gonna be restocking. According to him, today two hours ago, you can get the black one on. Best Buy for $4.99.99, but they were sold out. Okay. So um, he keeps you up to date. And the next one is uh, Don't Refresh. Don't yes, Refresh. Oh. <laughs> so, no, I mean, right now, it, that's how I got it. Listen, I spent an hour on Walmart website. When they posted it up, I kept refreshing. And I had like 30 minutes to go to work. And I, and I worked 20 minutes away from home. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to be late. I said, I, I said, I gave up. Literally hit refresh one more time. Boom, I put in all my information and um, but yeah, it's approved for it. I got uh, the only way that you could get these are through the flex plan. So you actually have to pay uh, 48 bucks a month. That's fine. 12 that's, months. That's better. So, and it comes with, and it automatically comes with the Game Pass Ultimate. So I have Ultimate, I have the Game Pass for the computer. I'll get the real Xbox if I can play, if I can play, pay flex plan. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's 40, and I'll pay 48 bucks a month. So that's uh, how much. I, so, so yeah, so I ended up buying it, um, and uh, and I have the old one in my room. Where'd you get the flex so, pan from? Where, where did flex huh? pan come? Where did flex pan come from? Citizens one. For what? Citizens one. What's they're that? The ones, they're the ones who handle the, the flex plans for Microsoft. So I bought it through Walmart, but the account, the the the, the people who purchase the um, who do the um, the financing is Citizens one. So Citizens One is the bank that deals with the finances, so they can go ahead and then pay Walmart but, for that. But where did you apply for that? How did you? I mean, through... so Walmart does all the application. So through uh, Walmart, you do oh. all every... those flex plans, like such as GameStop. All they Microsoft is part of the Microsoft deal to get right. into Microsoft is part of X, the all access. So the all access is through Citizens One, from my understanding. But you can get that through all across all any platform: Target, Walmart, Best Buy, and GameStop. Never heard of them. Yeah. So that's uh so that's that. So yeah, and I mean even the P he so yes, follow him. Matt Swider does M A T T S W I D E R. He um he does he tracks for PS5, Xbox, and GPU restocks. Really um really, really uh reliable. He he will not give you any uh kind of hackers or people who don't absolutely not I have not seen anything like that. I literally follow everything he said, and that's how I was able to get one. So yeah, I'm, 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 that's why I'm looking forward to all the lineup for every every month. We're getting a whole bunch of, of games from Game Pass. So that's something that we're looking forward to. Now, question is, how much gaming am I going to be doing for the next week, six weeks? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm going to... I'm You'll gonna, find time. You'll find time. I'm babies, gonna, I'm you gonna, know babies, all babies do is sleep, right? Yeah, I know, I know. But I still got to help my wife out too. So I'm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be playing some games, chillax and relax. You're going to massage her teeth so she can uh, milk easily? 
Yes, yes, I'm. Yes, of that's course. So, that's so hard. I know. I I, I can. I know. I know. Now, now, now I feel lonely. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot. It's okay. You can go back to Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I fucking hate you. Oh well, god. I, I saw. I saw today that. Um. I, I don't know. I posted it on on our on our. What is it called? Yes. On Discord, with the, with the, you don't follow, but it's okay. I, I it's okay. I, I'll I read it out. Stand Discord. So there was a article from IndieWire stating that why Star Wars series, The Acolyte, hired writers who never seen any Star Wars movies. So the writers for this supposed to be new Disney Plus show, The Acolyte, has no Star Wars experience writers. No, they. I think they have one. They only have one of them is experienced. The rest of them aren't. And one of them has never seen Star Wars ever. That's what I, so no, so th- there you go. They have not seen the movies. Well, it's a that's what we call a fresh take on a fresh take, fresh take on on the series. <laughs> so it's very interesting to know that the route that they're taking for this show is like, mm, here, let's see what we can come up with somebody who knows nothing about Star Wars and never seen a movie. What can what can go wrong? What, what can we get another last Jedi? I doubt it. I, I really do. But again, you're still dealing with Kath- Kathleen Kennedy. So uh... well, allegedly, allegedly dealing with the Kathleen Kennedy. My sources say she's she's out. And, so, then, and with that being said, I'm hearing George Lucas wants David Filoni to take over Kennedy's job. I, do I don't think that? I don't think George Lucas has any right to say anything because because Kennedy's there because of him. That was a package deal. So, I mean, I, I, he has no right to complain. He has no right to say anything because he did this to Star Wars. He did it. He chose oh, her. Jar Jar, he did that. Okay. Oh, yeah, he chose Jar Jar. her. That was his last mistake for, for, for uh, before selling <laughs> Star Wars was giving it to Kathleen Kennedy. So I don't want to hear nothing about no George Lucas because <laughs> it's, it's him. I mean, I get it. She might have tricked him because I, I've watched that interview so many times. Where she says, "All I'm here to do is to is to make sure that your characters are represented in the way that you want to, re- to represent them, and and to respect that, and blah 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 blah." Like she, she convinced me, but at the same time, you've known this woman for 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 years, maybe decades. You know what you're getting yourself into. I don't know how she could have tricked you all this time that she would turn your. I, I mean, I could not imagine being George Lucas, seeing what has happened to his to his franchise, and knowing it's all his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh man, it's crazy. Oh, but yeah, so that's um that's uh that I mean I don't know, man. I, I I'm looking forward to see what they have um you know how they how they play the um uh, what should I call it? The Let's show. be reasonable. Let's be reasonable. Disney Plus currently has zero Star Wars shows prepared for the rest of this year, it looks like zero. Zero. I, I, I can't even. I don't think I even confirmed whether the book of Boba Fett is filming or not yet. They have zero. They rocked it out the gate with the, with the Mandalorian, and right now they have nothing in the pipeline. Isn't that a shame? And Marvel is just ramping up now. Finally, Star yeah. Wars has nothing coming down the pipeline in either movies or Disney Plus. That's a shame. That's an absolute shame. So, yeah. It it but but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Why do you say so? Um, because you know the 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 way they did the Disney Plus was they are getting ready to just some release out the whole things of back to back to back. I think that they were they got a little bit too early with trying to get Disney Plus out there just to get get it out there with the Mandalorian here. Let's enjoy it. But I think they did it pre preemptively. I don't know the word. It's like yeah, that's that's not right. The the yeah, they made it to. They didn't have the, the the shows made yet to be able to release it, and then be like, "Here's all the shows. Here's the first season. Let's work on the other ones. Here's some here's some filler crap to fill you in with, like the like Luca and all the other Pixar movies and so. And then slowly get back to just some releasing show after show after show after show. But they didn't do that. So because because. They just wanted Disney Plus to be out there. And they thought just their catalog alone was going to be good. They released Disney Plus, honestly, a year to a year and a half too early. They should have had these things in the can already. They should have had them ready 
So when Disney Plus dropped, they had more than just the Mandalorian to drop. They should have had several things ready. Now they're playing catch up and it's their own fault. So yeah. I have no I have no love or, or respect for Disney because you oh we want to get in there as soon as possible, blah 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 blah. Get in there with quality stuff. Make sure you have the things there. No, you're banking on okay, well, we have this library. Everybody wants to see this library. Let's just drop that. Now satiate them while we eventually get our act together. That's True. not that's not good business, in my opinion. But who am I? I'm just a some guy in healthcare. So <laughs> <laughs> saving lives. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sure. Allegedly. Allegedly. Telling them, directing them to where to go, which is the truth. <laughs> it's true. I feel so unfulfilled. It's okay. You, uh, I'll fulfill you. I'll fulfill you. I know. I know you feel me. All right. Exactly. <laughs> you fill me all the way. Up. I filled. I filled you up with super con. Uh, yes, ticket, you did. So. Yes, you did. Uh, yeah, that should be enough. That, sh- that should be enough for the for the year. So the the, the next thing I want to discuss is so Paramount. Paramount. I I'm very disappointed with Paramount. I was expecting like a lot more better than Hulu, uh, not which HBO Max. Um, uh, but I am. You know, Paramount Plus was 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 CBS All Access. CBS All Access was a train wreck. I don't know yeah. what you think. What you were expecting from the the app formerly known as CBS All Access? It was it's horrible. Yeah, it is horrible. The only maybe the only good thing that I'm looking forward to in, in that is probably in next year Halo series that's going to be on really Paramount Plus. Yeah, you. Yeah, so um, next year you can buy it again. But well, speaking man, of I, Paramount Plus, not now you got me. In the, I I want to quickly I want to discuss and I want to review iCarly re- reboot series thus far. Good. All right, I I um. I'm not ashamed to say I'm a huge iCarly fan. I watched it in my 20s with my with my boys. They were younger at the time, so it was I was fully justified in why I was watching it. <laughs> allegedly. And yeah, allegedly. I I love the series. It was great. It was cute. It was fun. It had to be rolling. I even made um a few a few recipes from the show, spaghetti tacos. I actually made spaghetti tacos for me and my boys. We loved it. We absolutely loved it. So when I heard they were bringing the show back, I said, "Great." When I heard Janet McCartney wasn't coming back, I said, okay, fine. So I watched the show. I'm, th- I'm, I'm four episodes in. And my after the first episode and the credits rolled, I said, thanks. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I was laughing my ass off. But I don't like the iCarly reboot. I don't. I don't like the way it started. I don't like the premise, the plot. Um, and... I'm sorry, but but what they did to the characters <laughs> make no sense. Okay, so one, Spencer is now successful. He's a successful artist. Okay, sure. I'll take it. Yeah. Freddie is a divorced single parent with a black stepdaughter. Okay? And that's who he's taking care of. Where's his where, where's her mother? It's not his kid. Okay? It's not his kid. I get it. Maybe he adopted her when he married her mom. Why is she always around? He's not his kid. I, I don't understand why. And it made him a sad sack again. Freddie, the camera mm-hmm. guy, the the, the 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 intellectual, in my opinion. He Yeah, he was a little nerdy, but I thought he'd be like a, a head honcho, a tech guru. They, 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 made him an, they made him a current vibe. He is what? Anyway, <laughs> no, that is true. That is true. An unfulfilled, sad sack of a guy. But at least my kids are my own. So, like, <laughs> so, he's, he's, so he has a sassy black stepdaughter. We don't know what her mother looks like. Carly apparently has been back from Paris forever. They completely glossed over that whole her leaving. She's been back forever, apparently. And yeah. she is just this guy hungry chick. That's it. It's, pre- it's, it's, it's pretty boy. Ooh. Pretty boy, ooh, pretty boy, ooh, that, that, that is it. And she is, she has a new, a new sassy black best friend. Listen, I don't mean to harp, but I'm a black man. I Carly is not the show for sassy black characters. I'm sorry, it doesn't work. I, I, just, I don't see where they, were, where, where they thought that would work out. I mean, I how do you feel about it, Juancho? You've got- I I saw the first episode yes. and I was like uh, I laughed, but there was something that was like it was a, oh, it was a, there was a sadness yeah. behind the smile. I know. Yeah, it was. I had like, that too. Mm, it took a while. I I, I don't know. I, I I just couldn't. It's not grown on me in four episodes. I'm still watching and I'm still laughing, 
but the, the the choices that the writers made make no sense. They could have easily, if they were smart, because they could have easily started like this. If I was in the writer's room, I would say, why are we just dropping the audience in like this? How does this honor the legacy audience? It doesn't. Yeah, you do a hand-waving watch while you say where Sam is, cool. But we don't know how Carly met Sassy Black Girl. We don't know how, how um, oh God, what's his name? The guy, the boy, what? What's his name again? I don't know. Um, oh God, just blanked it. Ghibli? Not Ghibli. No, the guy with the black stepdaughter, what? I don't know. I don't and know. What's his name? His name. I, I forgot, his name? man. Anyway, I, I was in. The, I've never. I was never really into the, into the show. I was. Like, I was. I was so, in the yeah, to it. You know, Spencer. We don't see how Spencer made it big. You just dropped us in the middle. Years later, I understand that. But why couldn't we start the show with Carly just coming back from Paris? She hasn't seen her friends in forever. Okay, she True. comes back and Sam is missing. You know, Sam is out there in the world. She wasn't around, so Sam went to go live her life. She um, comes back and her guy friend, you know, who they're not together, which I don't understand why they're not together because it ended with a kiss. It ended with, well, whatever, cool. So he's, he's moved on with his life. He's married to, to a nice black lady with her, with her black daughter. Cool, fine. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I keep harping on this, but it just was making sense to me. Spencer, mm-hmm. Spencer just, got, got, just made it big. And scene. There you go. So she comes back. She wants to restart her show. She's been, she's been in Paris for all this time. She wants to restart her show. Her guy best friend that she kind of still f- had feelings for, moved on, married, and has a family. She doesn't have her best friend, Sam. Her brother's about to get is about to blow up. She feels a fish out of water. There's your story. Yep. So to replace Sam, she meets sassy black, black girl, right? We watch their friendship develop. It could start as a love-hate kind of thing. They don't really like each other at first. You know, they're butting heads, but slowly they show respect for each other. We can find, you want, you want, um, I forgot, why didn't his name pop in my head? I, I just forgot it. You want her, her guy friend to, to be divorced? Cool. Let's see it happen in real time. Let's see, let's, let's let episode one and two be the end of that marriage, right? Nothing yeah. crazy, just I don't want to be with you anymore. And now we have to focus on him learning how to be a dad to his stepdaughter in real time. And then explains why she's Freddy? so- Huh? Freddy. Freddy. And we can explain why, why, why she's so mean and cruel to Freddy and why she's so- um, And then she can find out that Freddy and, and Carly kind of had something and Carly coming back and Freddy getting divorced, kind of coincidental. Oh, it's Carly's fault. That's why she's mean to Carly. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. There is your narrative focus. So what do we have now? Take that all away. We have Spencer inexplicably, his, his goofy ass. He's, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, successful. We don't know how he got successful. He just is. We have Freddie. He's divorced. Still taking care of and watching his stepdaughter who inexplicably hates Carly. Hates her. Just hates her for no reason. They, they, they go back and forth. Yeah, Carly comes. Carly hasn't had her show for a while for whatever reason, because she apparently has been has been back for years, but hasn't done a show in a decides while. To, in a while, decides to restart her show randomly for the hell of it because it's what? Of a boy. Because of a boy. Because a boy broke her heart, and she randomly has a black sassy friend that they live together. We skipped a lot of stuff to get to here. What I want to know is what, who, where, where in the writing room did they say this is it? This is gonna be the show, okay? You know when I when I officially checked out of, of, of I Carly, you didn't see this episode probably. I Carly says, um, "Bitch, you have to shake things up." She said that in episode <laughs> three. I don't. She said, she said, she said, she said, "Bitch, you gotta shake it up." That's what her sassy black friend says. Well, I can't remember her name either. Okay. The minute Carly said that, I checked out. I said, this show is garbage. This is not a Carly. Why would you restart the show with this? Why? Yeah. Because of because you're checking a diversity box? It doesn't make any sense. Okay. It doesn't make any sense why she has a, she can have a black friend. Why a sassy black friend? I'm talking about a black friend you would see on, on Moesha, on the Parkers, 
kind of thing. Not on iCarly, vanilla iCarly. See yeah. what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you 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 saw her in the first episode. Does that character look like she was plucked out of out of some kind of UPN show and just well, and was dropped into into iCarly? Both of them did. The the stepdaughter and both yes! of them they felt, they felt out of place in that dynamic in that group dynamic. Maybe it's because we're so we were so used to the iCarly and Sam and Freddie dynamic, and we. But they, those two characters still don't. They don't. They, they don't. They, they're, they're they're from a different series, Juan. They, 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 it's literally, it's literally like one of those mashups from from two different putting them together. They don't seem like they exist in the same series. It doesn't make any sense. You have a sassy black girl going, 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 girlfriend. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, boo, and, boo, you and, get it. and Carly's like, oh yeah, wow, like <laughs> what's happening? They, they, I don't see how in real life they'd ever be friends. <laughs> they don't. And here's and here's the here's the funny thing about it: the sassy black friend. Is the bougie one? I love that a little bit. She yes. used to be rich. She used to have a high life, but something happened, and she now she works at a um at a uh, uh, coffee shop. I thought that was kind of neat. That was kind of funny because she's sassy and black, but she used to have money, so she has a high bougie life kind of mentality. But still, those two characters can could not be more uh, different. Now Carly and Sam were different. Sam was rugged, rebel, kind of tomboyish, um, and and Carly was was you know cute girl. She was little, she was a girl. They were yeah. opposites. Those were opposites. What they have right now is polar opposites. It no, is it is not realistic that those two would gravitate to each other as friends yeah. and decide to live together. So, it's uh, I don't know. It comes down to not only that, but I even watched the talk about the the Rugrats. With my, me and my wife sat down and watched it. We couldn't watch it. We just could not get. I have. It. I didn't watch it. I haven't watched it. I haven't we can't get past the animation. We are. I'm, we were like, yes, because if we're gonna get some Paramount Plus. Oh, oh my God, we regretted just even installing <laughs> it. I'm like, I just gave my TV virus. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so, but that's, um, I, that's I, Carly. I mean, am I gonna keep watching it? Yes, I'm hoping that this that something's gonna happen because I think there was a slight hint of. Freddie and Carly for the future. I am going to be watching Demon Slayer movie Mugen Train that is on Funimation this whole weekend. That's what I'm going to be watching while I'm in the hospital for three days. Parma Plus. No, no, I'm not doing it. I'm going to watch my Funimation. I'm a Demon Slayer uh, Mugen Train. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. You probably won't see me anymore until three months from now. So probably in September, you know, this is my official day to take a sabbatical guy. That is not true. He's not disappearing for months. <laughs> He's not. He'll come on his phone, just pop in real quick and say, hey guys. I will show I will show my face on Monday. Just show my face, say hi, and then leave. Because I, I want to show your face and you'll pop that newborn in camera real quick and then disappear. I'll try. No, I can't promise. It. I can't promise it. I can't promise anything. Can. I'll try. Make sure you're probably- Make sure she'll be sleeping. She'll be sleeping because childbirth is, is is a bitch. She'll be sleeping. All you have to do is is when you know the time is coming, have the baby in your hand. And it was like, oh, oh, real quick. Hey guys, mini Juancho, gotta go. Or sorry, Jason Jr. And that's it. So right. yes, he's, he's called Jason Jr. It's really nice. Oh God. Okay, whatever you want, sir. Whatever you want. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for me today. That's, that's it. All I got. Yeah, man. Let's talk yeah. about. Something else. Quick and simple. It's, it's, I gotta get to bed, man. It's bedtime. I gotta be up early tomorrow. It's not my up. fault that you decided to go go shopping last minute. La- bro, I need the last minute thing, man. I need I didn't always stay in three days at the hospital until I found out yesterday. Dang. Yes, yeah, really. thing, month, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then Monday. Are you allowed to? They're let, they're letting you um stay there. I mean, I, yeah, I don't think let visitation happen, but I know they'll let you stay. Yeah. If you're um oh, yeah. vax- vaccinated because you're vaccinated? no no they, they allowed the spouse to stay in the room with the with the wife and the baby for three days yeah that's that's really I nice uh, hours. real quick uh since you're vaccinated have you tried putting a magnet to where they um injected you um yeah but yeah also my dick grew like 4.5 centimeters no I'm no I'm I'm serious though have you because some people some people get have are magnetized in that spot have you tried it uh, no. Okay, I want you after, after after we shut down, just do me a favor. Just grab any magnet, where they think, and just try to see if it sticks to your skin, and just and report back to us on Discord. Okay, we'll do. That's, that's what's up, and that's it for keeping the Geek Bros <laughs> original recipe special part three. Uh, I'm Vibe, and this is Juancho, and geeking out still mm. sounds this good. I love y'all. Keeping up with the Geek Bros.